This is the morning office for March 24th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only Son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 31, verses 9 to 16. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction, and my bones are consumed. I have become a reproach to all my enemies and even to my neighbors, a dismay to those of my acquaintance. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. I am forgotten like a dead man, out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd, fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and in your loving kindness save me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my advers adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? The word of the Lord. We have come before God's holy mountain, to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before countless angels making festival, before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God, who is judge of all, before the spirits of the just made perfect, we have come before Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, so let us give thanks and offer to God acceptable worship, full of reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. This is Palm Sunday. I think the silence of Palm Sunday accuses us. We are among those who are shouting Hosanna at the beginning of the day, but how do we follow that? How do we follow through on our acclamations of Jesus as he enters Jerusalem, as he enters our city? Bear in mind that the next break in the silence of Holy Week comes on Good Friday when we are shouting, Crucify! Crucify! What is this silence that we maintain in between? Is it a good silence? Is it a holy silence? Is it a silence of complacency and ignorance? It's worth asking today why it is that we are so able to shout in the morning and yet find it so easy to keep an uneasy silence for the rest of the day. In these days of Holy Week, I continue to ask you to pray for the day, the world, and the church, but to pray especially for the Holy Land, for those places where these events took place 
and yet where there is presently no peace. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Gaza. Pray for the peace of the West Bank. Pray for the peace of Israel. Pray that those who resort to violence will find better ways, will recognize the whispering of God in their ear. Pray for the peace of the Holy Land. Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender mercy for the human race, you sent your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>